through the streets of the city he loved, a moving send-off from there in Barrie this noon as a procession weaves its way through the district. The memorial for the so-called mayor for life is in its second day now. A public viewing will get underway in just about an hour or so. Barry's casket is headed to the Temple of Praise Church in Southeast. John Gonzalez joins us there live. John. And Kai and Jimmy, we understand that procession is only about a mile away from us. The casket is actually being transferred to a horse-drawn carriage caisson where Clydesdales will bring Mary and Barry the rest of the way here to Temple of Praise in Southeast D.C. The man known as Mayor for Life took his final stroll through the streets of the city and many lined the streets cheering and waving here at the church. Some have already lined up trying to get inside. Many holding signs just like this, an old campaign sign for Mary and Barry. And as you can see, well, people are lined up here right outside of the church, hoping to get in and experience history here. Now, we want to show you some video from inside. You're seeing this for the first time. This is inside the church here. This is uh, off of Southern Avenue where banquets, or I can say bouquets of flowers adorn the altar with a large picture of a much younger mayor, Mary and Barry. And we, again, can tell you that hundreds are already outside of the church waiting for this procession to come through. You can hear the marching band and see the marching band there, the video. That was, well, the Baloo marching band, which played alongside the motorcade for a few blocks. And here's what some folks who have been waiting had to say. I'm here because of Mary and Barry, mayor for life, what he has done for the residents of the District of Columbia, and yes, especially Lord. the people of Ward 8. Yeah. What are you hoping to experience today here at the church? I'm hoping to experience to say thank you and farewell. Farewell. I was the first in line, but I live in Maryland, but I was born and raised here in Southeast. And I still come to Southeast, but I had to pay my respects. I had to. He done done so much for this city in Ward 8, especially. And I just couldn't, I took off work and I just had to be here and experience this. This is history. Now, the 10-mile procession has lasted more than three hours, making several stops, including at his Ward 8 office, where he spent so much time. Now, the congregation here is made up of, they're told, 14,000 people. Pastor Walter Staples says they praised loudly here, and this will be a huge celebration. He almost jokingly told me earlier he hopes that the city is ready for this memorial service. The public viewing will be from 1 to 6 this evening, followed by that memorial service, which is open to the public. We understand Reverend Al Sharpton will be speaking here tonight. Reporting live, John Gonzalez, ABC 7 News. Okay, John, thank you. And Mary and Barry's funeral is set for tomorrow from 11 a.m. until 3 in the afternoon. And we will carry the service in its entirety on our sister station, News Channel 8. That live coverage begins at 7 a.m.